What is going on YouTube and welcome back to Daily Boosters where we crack a pack of magic every single day of the week. It is Friday, the end of the work week, and we are in a severe thunderstorm warning. It is pretty much a hurricane outside with thunder and lightning, a lot of wind, a little bit of hail. We're still going to get this video out to the few who want to see it. We have already opened up a Battle for Zendikar intro pack earlier a few weeks ago, but we have yet to do a solo booster pack of it, so we're going to crack into this for our Friday video and see what we cannot pull from this booster pack. There it is. When is that open? When was it printed? I know it's recent. 2015. We're doing a lot of older sets, so... Figure we can do a semi-recent one to end the week. Got got a new shipment of boosters coming in on Monday or Tuesday. Can't wait to bring you those booster packs. Let's get into it. First card is Swarm Surge. With the void, creatures you control get plus two plus zero till end of turn. Colorless creatures you control gain first strike till end of turn. Call of or call of the scions. It's another sorcery. You can see what it does. Merc Strider, 3-2. Eldrazi Processor with Devoid. A lot of text, I'll let you read it. Vor Usually it's Vicarious, but what is this? Voracious? No. Vor Voracious? No. It is a zombie, 2-2. Two, two. One in a swamp, sacrifice another creature, put two plus one plus one counters on it. Activate this ability anytime you could cast a sorcery. Volcanic upheaval, destroy target land. Tandem tactics. Ghostly sentinel, 3-3 three, three core spirit with flying and vigilance. And we got another Eldrazi Drone, a 1-4 Benthic Infiltrator, with the Void and Ingest, and it can't be blocked. It's a pretty good card, but it's only a 1-4. Then we got Vestige of Imrakul, 3-4 Eldrazi Drone, with the Void and Trample. First Uncommon is Unified Front. Put a 1-1 one, one white core ally creature token on through the battlefield for each color of mana spent to cast a unified front. Rot Shambler. 1-1 one, one fungus. Whenever another creature you control dies, put a plus one plus one counter on Rot Shambler. And we got Cryptic Cruiser. Let's get these cards straightened up. Eldrazi Processor. 3-3 three, three with the Void. Put a target or I'm sorry, put a card an opponent owns from exile into that player's graveyard, tap target creature. And the rare, Canopy Vista. Forest Plains, you can tap, add a forest or plains to the mana pool, and there's a battlefield tap, unless you control two or more basic lands. Usually land cards are worth a bit more as a rare, so hopefully this is worth a decent amount, maybe five, ten bucks. I did see a foil, and it's a foil rare. Shamblin' Vent. It is a land, enters a battlefield tap, adds a plains or a swamp to the mana pool. If you pay a plains and a swamp in one mana, Shamblin' Vent becomes a 2-3 white and black elemental creature with a lifelink. Until end of turn, it's still a land. You can see the nice foil colors there. Nice little pack opening. Then we get a swamp and an Eldrazi Scion. That is a uh, Battle for Zendikar booster pack. Leave a like. Please subscribe for more videos. Be sure to check out tomorrow's video to see what product we will crack into as it is Saturday. And it will be a non-booster pack video and a little bit longer video. So I hope you guys tune in for that. Have a good night. Until tomorrow, peace.